MBA. It's one of those rare professional degrees that is available to anyone and everyone at any stage of their career. Whether you're looking to gain leadership, management or investment training to enhance your current career or shift into a completely new career altogether, an MBA in its various formats can serve the purpose beautifully as long as the fit is strategically planned. And whether it's a full-time MBA, a part-time MBA or an executive MBA, each MBA format may have a role to play in your career planning. We are not covering online MBA programs this time as we have a detailed video on it. Here are a few fundamental questions that you need to answer before you can decide which MBA format fits the best for your career plans. Once you have enough clarity, you can now move on to the MBA format related queries. Like what are the advantages or disadvantages of part-time MBA versus executive MBA versus full-time MBA? And which format is better? Hold your breath as we take a deep dive to explore these questions. Let us first try to understand what each type of MBA has to offer. Starting with the full-time MBA. This is the MBA as we understand it in its most conventional format. Typically, it's a two-year master's degree, mostly in North America and other parts of the world. But it can also be a one-year MBA, as is popular in most of Europe. Students attend rigorous classes full-time on campus, and they're usually residential. MBA programs include classes, workshops, internships, projects, and extensive career placement events organized by the business school in collaboration with various recruiters. Students are usually early in their careers with a work experience of typically four to five years. Most are in the age group of under 30, though you'll find a few older students too. In some full-time MBA programs such as in Asia, IIMs for example, students often go in fresh out of their undergrad program without wetting their feet in any job, meaning with zero work experience. In comparison, most GMAT and GRE-based international MBA programs require work experience. Experience plays a crucial role in the intensely competitive admission system that MBA is known for. What about part-time MBA programs? In the course content and syllabus, a part-time MBA is quite identical to a full-time program. Barring the internship or other frills enjoyed within a residential format, part-time MBA offers the flexibility that so many working professionals look for, a chance to pursue a degree without a full-time commitment. Part-time MBA students are similar in age and work background to full-time MBA candidates. The entry criteria is similar too, but generally less competitive. The period of completion can vary from two to sometimes even five years. Part-time MBA students have the flexibility to orient the courses to suit their needs. This makes the program duration variable Keep in mind that a lot of top B schools don't offer a part-time MBA. Let's move on to the Executive MBA or EMBA, offered in a part-time format. An Executive MBA leads to higher executive roles. Typical EMBA students are middle management professionals who want to accelerate their career growth to senior executive management. EMBA courses are similar in nature to full-time MBA courses, but with a focus on leadership. EMBA programs are also held on campus, but are designed to fit around the busy work schedules of candidates who are usually well over their 30s and have 10 plus years of work experience. The entry criteria and requirements are less competitive than full-time MBA programs. GMAT or GRE scores can often be replaced by an executive assessment score. That's a lighter version of the GMAT. Some EMBA programs may waive the requirement for test scores based on the nature and quantum of work experience. Since you'd be working while you're studying, employer approval is often required. And for the same reason, EMBA candidates are not eligible for campus placements. That's the politically correct policy of B-Schools, since they cannot antagonize the companies that allow employees to pursue an EMBA. But here's a little secret. Nothing stops you from looking for jobs on your own. Of course, if your employer has sponsored your degree, then you have an obligation to go back and serve them. But many executive MBA applicants who work with MBA Crystal Ball pay for the degree on their own and have no obligation to return to their employers. After their MBA, some have gone back to their old companies, while others have made a complete career change with higher pay. So yes, it's possible, while not very common, to achieve a career transition with an EMBA. 
let's now check out the pros and cons of a full-time versus part-time versus executive MBA. More choices can mean more confusion. Which among these three MBA types would suit your needs? The response is the famously vague and subjective, it depends. But here are a few questions to ask yourself before you catch the next train to MBA land. Why do you want an MBA? The motivation driving an MBA pursuit is also the force that drives the decision between the MBA types. Are you looking to change your career track? Or are you going to use your MBA to improve your professional standing and credibility? Will your MBA degree help you fill the gaps that you see in your professional training? Or will it set the foundation of a training that you have never had? Here are some insights and differences between the MBA types pertinent to these questions. According to alumni who responded to the survey, the distinct career advantages of each MBA type indicate that full-time MBA programs increase earning power, whereas part-time and executive MBA alumni agree that their degrees help them attain leadership positions. Across the formats though, there's a strong consensus on all MBA types preparing students for their chosen career, developing a solid network, kickstarting a rapid growth phase in their career improving the ability to work among a diverse group of people, as well as flourishing in positions abroad. Let's take a look at the differences in the class profile and admission statistics. And what's the difference in affordability and time management? The greatest difference between a full-time, part-time and an EMBA is the schedule. Although a full-time program demands full commitment and hence a career break to pursue the MBA degree, it still doesn't demand as much time management tricks that part-time students have to employ. Students of part-time or even EMBA programs have to juggle their classes with their ongoing professional commitments. Personal life also keeps the pressure on, as most of these candidates are over 30 and have families as well. But part-time or EMBA students can often hit the pause button on their courses to fulfill work-life demands. The big advantage for them is the lack of a career break. This reduces the opportunity cost of getting the MBA degree significantly. Full-time MBA programs can be quite expensive, with the fees for good MBA programs going about $100,000 or higher. While MBA loans and scholarships are available, the final debt upon graduation definitely mellows the celebration of success. In part-time MBA programs, tuition can be similar, but these students have a steady flow of income throughout to keep their bank green. EMBA students, on the other hand, also have the added advantage of often getting company sponsorships that make for a sweet deal, despite the often $200,000 plus tuition price tag. In the end, it boils down to the why MBA introspection, your current financial, professional, and personal situation and how a particular type of MBA, whether it's part-time MBA, executive, or full-time, would help you attain your career goals. Check out the description for more insights into each MBA type and some success stories. Our experienced MBA admission consultants at MBA Crystal Ball have helped students across all these formats. Get in touch for professional help with your MBA plans. Good luck.